Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some defensive plays for you today out of the. I'm using the Steelers playbook, but really any three-four playbook, three-four base playbook. Um, a lot of playbooks that have both, like the Raiders or the Patriots, that run three-four and four-three, don't have this formation. But the three-four solid to me is one of the better run defense formations. I just found this formation. It's um, something I was aware of, but I just used it recently in a mutt draft. I uh, I, ch I chose the Packers playbook, and uh, it was really successful for me. I went 4-0 in my season um, because it only goes four, uh, four wins now. It used to be more. But, uh, but basically, you know, this defense here, I was using this in conjunction with uh, my 3-3-5, which I still feel is the best defense in the game. And I'll pop a link for that because I'm pushing that. That video is not doing nearly as good as it should. That is a game-changing defense. Uh, but this one right here, obviously, you got to match personnel sometimes. you got to bulk up. And I find that this is one of the best uh, to use against people that are running a lot of outside runs as well as a lot of, um, you know, inside runs as well. It's a really good run-stopping defense. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this. And uh, I'm going to show, there's a couple different plays that are pretty good, uh, but the play that I'm going to show first is the uh, Strike Spy 2. I might show another one here in a minute, uh, but this is a really good setup. So I'm going to pick that. We'll go random single back. Um, actually, I guess I'll go random concept because at some point I'm going to be running these plays. So we'll go ahead and we'll go random run. Um, yeah, I guess this random run will work. So basically here, i got to keep this uh, in this type of view so the computer doesn't hurry up and run it. But uh, basically this right here, the first thing I would say to do is base align uh, because I don't want this guy out so far. I want him inside um, and so a lot of times he'll start outside because there's a receiver out there. If you think it's a pass and you're not really sure, um, that's really up to you. But as far as a run defense goes, uh, I think him ha having him inside a little bit further is better. Uh, I also like to uh, spread uh, my line and my, uh, my, my linebackers because essentially uh, what I want to do here is I want to have outside containment. I want to have outside leverage of these linebackers. If it's going to be an outside run, I want these guys outside. But that's really something for you to decide. If somebody's running up up the middle a lot or the blocking doesn't really look that way, like say, um, you know, you can pinch them and then it looks like a regular 3-4 odd. But, um, you know, in this scenario, I don't really have a lot of outside blocking. So it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to spread. Um, considering that uh, there's no way in the world he's coming outside here with James Harrison anyway. So in this scenario, uh, looking at it as a, as a three wide set, uh, it's it's really your call. But there's a, there's it's it's you know flexible. That's the point uh, of it anyway. Is it's a very flexible defense. Uh, but bottom line uh, is I want to uh, typically if I see a big look, uh, I'm going to want to spread these linebackers and I, and I'll I can manually bring these linebackers out as far as possible. But I want them to get outside shoulder of these blockers. I want them to maintain the outside edge. Um, and then it's really going to be up to me and uh, this other middle linebacker here um, to maintain the middle. So this is the look pre-snap. Um, you know, not a whole lot of adjustments. This is cover two. So what I like about cover two this year is you can press on cover two with really no um, with no issues because they don't really get beat like cover three gets beat this year in covered and pressing. So that'll help me to maintain that outside edge too is since they're on press, they'll, they'll engage and get off that block a lot quicker and help me out in the run outside. Uh, cover three, which is another look um, you could always run, uh, that'll bring the safety down. In that scenario, I would want to bring him down to the box. And it's still a pretty good defense. Uh, you can see how in this look, Harrison steps out a lot wider reacting to that wide receiver, which is good. So it's really the base more than the play. You can run this in cover two, or you can run this in cover three. It's really just the setup um, that I like of the formation more than anything. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run this one time just like this. I'll just let the computer do its thing. And that's, that's a run right up the middle there. And you can see how the formation gets a couple yards, a decent run. So here's a two tight end look. It's actually a goal line look. So let's spread this. I'll show you how this works. Base the line and press. I'm going to show you how this shuts it down. It'll probably be a, I don't know if it'll be an inside run or an outside run. Uh, that's an outside run. I get there, cornerback's there to help out. It gets about a yard. So I'm hoping to see a couple of big looks like that. Um, so I can get those, those uh, you know, that's the type of run that you are seeing the most online right now. Um, and that, you know, defense held me down there. I didn't make the best angle. For whatever reason, the computer is, it just like controls your middle linebacker. Like I didn't make that, it's only in practice mode too. I didn't make that looping 
uh, decision there. So there we go. Nice little end round. Gets shut down. Uh, this one here looks like it's going to probably be an inside zone just because of the formation. There's no way that running back is going to make that outside run. And you can see how this guy, Harrison's shooting the outside. He actually still made a couple yards. Yeah, this is a pretty good pass defense too. You're not really losing much by way of the pass, uh, which is nice. That's kind of what you, um, you know, this is this is a good all-around defense. You have a five guy. You have five guys going in. As we get a nice little hit stick there, it gets a couple yards though. I'll show this. I'll run this against pass here in a minute. It's a pretty good pass defense too because you can see how you have uh, you have five guys going in. You don't really need nice. You don't really need a lot more. And there's nowhere to go. Not getting a yard. So here we go. Got this deep on lock. Looks like it's going to be an outside toss. Yeah, the cornerbacks, the cover two corners, just shutting down. Now, if used in a passing scenario, um, I'd say the same play is really good, but there's a couple adjustments you can make to make it even more effective. We'll just go random single back here. Uh, but in passing scenarios, since you have five pass rushers, I really think that it's best to use one of your outside linebackers, whatever side's the heavy side as far as receivers, or um, if it's the open side of the field. Uh, I find it's best to put him into something uh, coverage-related if you need the help. You can stand him up. Uh, you know, put him into a, a hook zone, or you can put him on an outside. Um, like here, he's in a hard flat. It doesn't look like it, but uh, the cornerback's in a uh, a cloud flat, and he's in a hard flat. So that's kind of like a Mabel concept. Or I find it's best a lot of times just to man him up, um, either to the running back if somebody's beating you with a running back a lot, or to the tight end. It's really up to you. Uh, but he's really a free man in a passing scenario. So now that I showed you that, I'll go ahead and I'll run a couple times against the pass, and I'll use him in that scenario. I'll actually just run the play here. Oh, he's right there. Turn your back, man. 48 was there, but just poor coverage. It's all good. We'll go ahead and run this a couple times. The coverage was there. It's just he had his head, he had his didn't have his head on a swivel. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that was, but it turned out to be a sack. Really unique play art right there. And I over-pursue, but he still only got a couple yards for the big hit. So we're going to man the running back. Users will probably throw to the running back more than the computer will, but I feel good about that. And nowhere to run. Like I said, a really good run defense. Works pretty good against the pass. Obviously, there's better pass defenses in the world, but, um, you know, like I said, this is more of a, of a run defense to stack up, get heavy, shut down the run. As you can see there, you know, I didn't do anything and the computer stopped it itself. Um, but, you know, it's really good also. You can put them on, like, both the tight ends here. You know, this is going to be really, really clamped down. And you can see there's just no run lanes. There's no run lanes there. So there I manned up the slot and the uh, tight end. And the run defense does its own thing. Oh, that's right, we're running with Shazier. Nice D. Just saw Shazier shadowing John Ross. Oh, we've got inside corner there. Oh, that's right, we're doubling this guy. We say you're not getting the most pass rush. But we are going to get a pick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, that's a really good coverage. It's a really good way to cover there. Obviously, you're sacrificing pass rush. But if you have a, a, an opponent that likes to get rid of it quick, it's not going to matter. If, they don't, if they're not smart enough to sense, to sense that rush. A lot of people, you know... You'll have to really decide when to uh, when to do this and when not to do this with the two bands. But like I said, some opponents don't actually wait to find out they're getting rushed. They just have a clock in their head and they get rid of the ball in that scenario. And if we're getting some heat there, though, we get the sack. 
All right, so that's it. That's the play. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor and the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money Shit Out.